So now we're going to talk about Henoch-Schlon lane purpura. So basically what happens is that you get an upper respiratory infection in children, and it leads to um, classically four uh, systemic symptoms. Um, so the first thing you see is palpable purpura on the buttocks and the legs. Um, and it's usually kids around like 3 to 13. Um, so that's like the biggest thing they're going to notice, is that you get palpable purpura in the buttocks and legs. And then you're going to see arthralgias. Um, you're going to see GI problems. Uh, like a colicky abdominal pain. Um, and you're also going to see uh, some sort of nephro nephropathy. And this all stems from IgA immune complexes. Um, so basically what happens is you get an upper respiratory infection, and then you get uh, immune complexes against those antigens. Um, and it's IgA because it's in the respiratory tract, and it's along your, um, your gut line. Um, and basically what happens is that all these things are due to IgA deposition. Um, palpable purpura because you get it in the skin. Um, it seems like it's gravity dependent because it's buttocks and legs. Um, you get um, arthralgias because you get IgA deposition in the joints. Um, you get abdominal colicky abdominal pain because you get IgA deposition in the mesenteric arteries. Um, and you also get nephropathy because you get IgA deposition in the kidney uh, tubu tubules. Um, so basically you have all these things. And clinical case scenario, you're going to see a kid that comes in, upper respiratory infection, uh, fever, chills, headache... Um, and then he's going to have a colicky abdominal pain, and his joints hurt, maybe arthralgias, and maybe you'll see some proteinuria. Um, basically what happens is, is that's IgA deposition based off of a viral upper respiratory infection. Um, and that's it.